This winter, I learned ice fishing in New Hampshire. I learned it on Lake Winnipesaukee. Look, got him. Ha! Ah! Lake Winnipesaukee is a legendary ice fishing, fishing, boating, vacationing, outdoor wonderland in central New Hampshire. And tonight, Lake Winnipesaukee has a boat floating on it that contains not one, not two, not three, but four possible Republican presidential contenders all in the same actual boat. It is a sunset cruise for one of the county Republican parties in New Hampshire. And tonight, that sunset cruise has on it uh, Scott Walker, who hasn't announced yet, but everybody knows he's running, uh, and George Pataki, who announced last night that he is running, and also two other guys who have been lurking anonymously down toward the bottom of our chart of Republican candidates, uh, Bob Ehrlich, former governor of Maryland, and Jim Gilmore, former governor of Virginia, uh, who you might remember also made a run for the presidency in 2008. Um, those two guys have been lurking at the bottom of our candidates chart for 2016. Not the most recognizable pair, I know, uh, but there they are. There they have been on our chart, and they both tonight are on the Lake Winnipesaukee Sunset Cruise with George Pataki and Scott Walker tonight. And both of their offices told us today that we should count neither of them out for 2016. They are both still actively considering a run for the presidency, even though neither one of them is ready at this point to make an official announcement. So keep your fingers crossed. Uh, we also got word today that this man has scheduled his announcement June 16th, he says. And who knows what exactly he will announce on June 16th, but he has planned a trip to New Hampshire for the following day. And in the lead up to that June 16th announcement, this man is preparing fertile ground for his possible presidential run by making important and deft foreign policy pronouncements like this one that he made this week with my friend Greta Van Susteren on Fox News. This is one of the best things that has been on TV so far for the 2016 race. This is so amazing know how to bring ISIS to the table or beyond that defeat ISIS very quickly. And I'm not going to tell you what it is tonight. You know, one of the problems that we have, I'll tell you why, because I don't want to, Greta. I'll tell you why, because I'll We need all the help we can get. We need a dialogue on this. We need a dialogue. If I run and if I win, I don't want the enemy to know what I'm doing. I don't want the enemy to know what I'm doing. Unfortunately, I'll probably have to tell at some point. But there is a method of defeating them quickly and effectively and having total victory. All I can tell you is that it is a foolproof way of winning. And I'm not talking about what some people would say. But it is a foolproof way of winning the war with ISIS. And it will be absolutely 100% they'll let a minimum come to the table. And actually, they'll be defeated very quickly. Very, very uh, quickly. It's a secret plan, but it is foolproof. And only he knows about it. It kind of goes like this, Isis, you're fired. <laughs> but that man says he will make his announcement June 16th. We're also definitely going to get an announcement from Martin O'Malley, former Maryland governor, tomorrow. We were also told today that we're going to get an announcement from former Rhode Island governor Link Chafee on Wednesday. And now we know to wait with bated breath on these two guys, Bob Ehrlich and Jim Gilmore, who are definitely these two guys. I'm just not totally sure which is which but I swear I will look it up and memorize it with flashcards before they actually formally jump in the race. We'll be right back.